The state of Discord moderation has remained relatively unchanged for a long time. The generic kicking and banning functionality has always been there, but moderators have long resented a notable lack of any effective way to give people the old hush hush. Oftentimes the task of keeping people quiet fell in the hands of bots, but the process was always clunky. Remove roles, add muted role, wait a certain amount of time, bot doesn't unmute member, everyone gets frustrated, server war ensues. Okay, maybe I'm pushing the boat out a little with the whole server war thing. But the point is, however it was done, it was always rubbish and always prone to breaking. However, it seems Discord has finally noticed this and has introduced a new timeout feature. Now I was planning on giving you a live demonstration here, but naturally no sooner did Discord bestow this new power onto me, Discord took it away again. Oh well, screenshots it is I suppose. The new update provides a new timeout option alongside the kick and ban ones that allows server admins to mute members for one of a select number of durations, ranging from just a minute to an entire week. Once activated, the member can still see new messages sent in every channel they could previously access, but can no longer send messages, react to any message, or join any voice channel. If they happen to be in a voice channel at the time the order is made, they are unceremoniously thrown out. Timed out members keep their previous roles and attributes, but just have most of their permissions removed under the hood, meaning no awkward role switcheroos of old. On top of this, Discord controls when the timeout gets cancelled, so there's no need to stand by and wait, and especially when it comes to bots, no requirements for them to be online. Speaking of bots, you may be wondering how to implement such a feature into yours. Well, at time of recording, most libraries don't support the feature, but you can make a raw API request of your own. That request would look something like this. It's worth noting that this is a fairly rudimentary system and will need to be slightly modified to work with your bot, but will succeed when called in timing out members of your server. Using the API, whether it be through your native library or just through raw requests, actually provides more control as well, as you can time out members for little as a single second or as much as four weeks. Ouch. So to summarize, the new timeout feature is amazing and everyone should be using it. Given enough time, bot developers should also switch to using this system over their old ones as it's far more reliable, far less clunky and honestly far, far easier to work with. I'm just amazed Discord didn't make it Nitro exclusive.